It's a community, it's a life, it's a heart, it's a spirit. Uh, parents of gay children say, I want my son, my gay son, to have the same opportunity to come to me and say, hey dad, I'm getting married, as my non-gay son or my non-gay daughter. The heck would you want a picture of a tattoo of a thousand dollars on your penis voice? You might just need to satisfy yourself sexually alone at that point. Do I regret it? Not one bit. Did I think that I would actually take it the next step and, and do it again? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and what goes into their life, how they handle it, their 12 houses, and each one of those houses has a particular function. Look into yourself, think about it, and just be whoever it is that speaks to you. Hello and welcome to the Internet Edition of Talking About. I'm John Griffith, your host, and today I have author, activist, columnist, among many of the hats that you wear, Wayne Besson. Welcome. Thank you. Definitely not cook. I tried to <laughs> make something earlier <laughs> you and burn the, the heck out of it. <laughs> no, I, I thought I did, but uh, I didn't know you could burn a bagel that bad in <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> okay, well, we're kind of talking about uh, a little bit about your personal story and tr your, your organization, truthwinsout.org. Um, but what in your life led you to, to form truthwinsout.org? Personal experience. I mean, when I came out of the closet, there just wasn't that much information out there. And I finally told my parents, and like, Mom, Dad, I'm gay. And they were like, what? And my mom's like, no. And my dad said, you still like sports, don't you? <laughs> and I knew it was going to be a really long road to acceptance. And then in the middle of me trying to make things better, they walked into this mall and they saw this ex-gay subliminal tape called Gay and Unhappy. It was like, had like an anti-gay in you. It was half self-hypnotic. And then the other part had a deep voice that told me how much I like breasts. <laughs> and obviously it didn't work. I'm here right now. Uh, but it was, yeah, it, was, it was that experience. It was that experience that began it. Then I started Truth Wins Out because George W. Bush invited the leader of the ex-gay ministries, Alan Chambers, to the White House to lobby in favor of the Federal Marriage Amendment, which would ban same-sex marriage. And I said, enough is enough. And then I went to the National Press Club on the spur of the moment and launched this organization, truthwinsout.org, to fight back because I felt that there really wasn't any group fighting these pray-away-the-gay pray ex-gay ministries and reparative therapy out there. And they were getting away so many lies, mm. so much disinformation, and I said, enough, I've got to well, do something about right. it. Well, I mean, what's an example of what they put out there, and, and what's the way to combat it? Well, first of all, they believe that uh, gay people are getting AIDS because of God. We're reaping what we're sowing, is what they say on their website. Uh, they also believe that we have demons, and they have a lot of exorcisms. They don't talk about this when they're talking to the mainstream media, but if you read their books, they say that it's Satan and it's demonic and that they can bring the demons out of you. And uh, they also say terrible things, like if you come out of the closet, you're going to be unhappy, you're never going to find anybody, uh, that if you go bald or get a little waistline or if you get older, you're not going to have anyone for the rest of your life. They scare <laughs> people. And these terrified individuals are looking for this organization to protect them and help them when in fact they really need protection from Exodus right. International. I mean, is, is it, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions? Is that, is that the case in, at any time? It's actually cheap asphalt, but anyway, <laughs> anyway um, yeah, I, th I think that's, that is the appropriate uh, term. I mean, a lot of these people are sincere and well-meaning, but they happen to be hurting a lot of people in the process. And mm. what bothers me is the ex-gay industry is impervious to evidence. Facts don't matter, truth doesn't matter. They will say anything, they will do anything, they'll quote any fake study, and they'll conduct bogus research, all because they don't like GLBT people and because they think we're going to hell. But I mean, just the, the, the so-called facts and numbers that they, that they sometimes present, that are they pretty much pulled out of the air? 
their numbers and statistics are completely fake or twisted. In fact, the truth wins out, we have a Respect My Research program that goes right to the professors they're quoting. And we film these professors at these esteemed universities like Yale and Harvard saying, stop lying about my work. Don't cherry pick my findings. And it's caused a great deal of embarrassment to groups like Focus on the Family, uh, the National Research and Therapy of Homosexuality known as NARTH, and, um, and other organizations that really take a lot of money out of people's pockets by twisting the truth. And unfortunately, you know, the people that are suppo you know, supposedly seeking to help are the ones who are hurt the most. Be just uh, in, instead of choosing, going for the route of self-acceptance, which is the healthier mm -hmm. route, you know, having been convinced that there's something wrong with them, they're, they're reaching out to these organizations that in turn cause more harm than good. Yeah, these, these groups prey on the weak and the vulnerable and very fragile people. And they fill their head with lies and, and, and use fear and sneer about the GLBT community to, uh, I mean, to use their terminology to recruit them into their programs. And the results can be devastating. And bottom line is it doesn't work. The most you can do is change your behavior through an extreme regimen of religious suppression of your, your sexuality, but you're certainly not changing your orientation. And even the ex-gay ministries, when pressed, will acknowledge that now because of the many failures of their mm. very own leaders, including one I photographed in a gay bar. Right, I was about to uh, mention that. It was on the cover <laughs> of Newsweek. Um, but you know, we just hope that these, these people who are these victimizers in the ex gay ministries are also victims, and we just want to help them come out of the closet as well. They're very troubled individuals, and we're doing everything we can to, to make it easier, easier uh, to accept themselves for who they are, not who Pat Robertson wants them to be. Right. And, and you, the Truth Runs Out has, has mm -hmm. done a lot of good, and you, you do show some examples of, of uh, the hours that you've done and some of the, the folks who've become healthier individuals because of getting away from these organizations. We think all of America should hear the story about the victims, the survivors of ex-gay ministries, and we have the premier collection of survivor videos where people tell their stories and relay the thousands of dollars they wasted when they talk about the years of their life down the drain, how they gave up careers and they gave up the chance at love, true love, mm. for what? For nothing, for false hope that's sold by these organizations that pretend they love you. Right, and but just really you in a state of misery. Yeah. I, in fact, sometimes we call them the ex-gay miseries instead of the <laughs> ministries because that's the end result. In fact, the, the organization, the largest one that promotes this is Exodus International, and we say it's appropriate because at the end it's a big exodus from their program. Hmm. And you've done an extensive amount of research, um, in, which is in your book, Anything mm -hmm. But Straight. Yeah. One of, one of two books, and there's more information about your book on the Truth Wins Out website? There is, there is. It was four years worth of research into these ministries, who they are, what they're about, and who funds them. What, what's their goal? Because it's really political. The right wing reads polls that show that if Americans can be tricked into believing you can go from gay to straight, they vote mm -hmm. anti-gay. And if they believe you're born that way, they vote pro-gay. In a free country, it shouldn't matter, but it, polling shows it does, and that's why they're spending millions of dollars to uh, bamboozle people into believing this lie. Okay, and if there's anything that people that you want to see people take take away from the book and TruthWinsOut.org, what would it be in the last mm. 15 seconds? I think I want my work to help people be who they are and accept themselves and go on to live rich, deep, meaningful, fulfilling lives of, of much happiness, where their sexual orientation isn't this dominating tug of war within their soul <laughs> and they can just live and, and, and be who they were meant to be. All right, well, thank you for joining thank me. Thank you. And I want to thank you for joining me. Truthwinsout.org, www.talkingabout.info, mm -hmm. myspace slash talking about. Just Google me. Google him, Wayne Besson, John Griffith. Thank you. Till next time. <laughs>